yes. on the winner's side. So we'll see how it is in the grand finals. If you guys are, are new at home, if you're an era sub, you don't know how math works. Jimmy J. Tran is going to have to win the first set to reset the bracket, right? So if Jimmy J. Tran wins three games, we have a reset bracket. Brand new set. We'll start at 0-0 and have that one out there. If Joey Fury wins the first set, three games, he gets the job done. He is your champion here. It's going to be a big win for his region of Boston that he is representing this weekend. And uh, a big blow to Oakland, right? Who could use those extra points? We mentioned that this is a regional uh, format. So right. the next game after this is going to be Street Fighter, mm -hmm. the Oakland's representative for Street Fighter, uh, Samurai, who you guys are probably familiar with if you watch Street Fighter in that tournament as well. And uh, the online representative is in there with IDOM as well, which uh, Glaciating was trying to get some extra points for. So. This is a big deal for regional battle. This is a big deal for, you know, obviously the winner of this. They get the MVP trophy. They get some yep. extra money on the line. This is, uh, there's a lot on the line here. And these two players, two of the strongest players in the U.S., both qualified for the Tekken World Tour Finals. It's our grand finals. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, a lot on the line for Oakland right now. Boston as well. But really, with you know, that close up to the top, this could mean the difference between winning or losing right here. I know we got one more tournament going. I know Samurai is one of the best of the best. But really, you know, I got a, a stacked Street Fighter bracket like that. Anything can happen. So really, you want to get these points here. Let's get Grand Final started here. Jimmy J. Tran versus Equinox's Joey Fury. Can you believe this guy Jimmy doesn't have a sponsor in front of his name? I mean, it used to be NCSS. <laughs> North Cal Strong style. Good old Bronson. That orbital from downtown. We talked about this matchup earlier. One of the big things to keep in mind, if he blocks one of those down forward twos from Jack, he has the jet upper as a punish. Brian's right, a big deal. In this mid-range, we're gonna see those long three plus fours from Brian's, that long kick that he's gonna use, counter hit launches, try to deal with those jack pokes that are super pesky, hard for him to deal with. Orbital heel gets stuffed out of the air. Yeah, nice use of back one too. You see that a lot more from Jack in season two. It's now safe, it puts people face down on counter hit. Super back good one. Move. Block. 12 seconds on the clock. Oh! Hit against the wall. Tom situation. He's gonna lay down. Goes low again. Another one. Another one. Goes for the running. The slow-mo Jimmy J. Tran. Round two. That's round one of the grand final. Are you serious? That's just one round. I can't believe Jimmy made the read that he was gonna stay down three times in a row. Would have stood down too. I'd have been terrified for my life. Low parry, Jimmy J. Tran. Boom, boom. Made it to the wall. Those child bearing hits. Jack is a wide body. He's thick with two C's. Is that one interrupt? A standing jab. Jimmy's so good about using those. It's a little poke up close. Down forward two. And there it is. Harassing him up close with that jab series and goes for the down forward two after. Two quick rounds. Jimmy looking solid. Man, and Jimmy is doing so well at mixing up his rhythm right now, going for quick stuff like the jabs, the down four, two, ones, and then mixing it up, going for big old hatchet kicks. No, he is really making it difficult for Joy Fury to make a good read or when he can press buttons. Big whiff, four, four, one, but it was out of the air, so didn't get the launch he was looking for. All right, a couple of folks there catching Jimmy moving. One, two, one, no counter hit, so it doesn't combo. Orbital oh heel. my god, I, where? How far if he was that? reached right there, oh boy, I might have thrown a fit. I was way far away on the orbital. It's a really good move to intercept lows like that, right? It's not kind of like a hop kick. It's not super fast to just fly over the low. It's something you do when you read one from pretty far away, and Jimmy uses it, it uses it kind of as that interceptor tool. Joey with a round on the board though. Yeah, put the silver on the board. This matchup definitely changes quite a bit when you get to the infinite stage of this map, right? Yeah, of yeah. course. You lose that wall for Jimmy to just knock you down and run the Tonoki after, right? Yeah, and Jack, you know, excels in the neutral. So being able to backdash without worry, without giving up your position is so critical for this character. And for Joy Fury, he gets to control the pace a lot more. For sure, and that's what you're seeing. One, two, one, it was counter hit. Got the series. Jimmy not quite in that rage mode yet. Orbital heal. Ooh. And he got him after two rounds apiece. Joey Fury was looking like he was in trouble to start of this, but man, we mentioned his biggest strength as a player, resolve, right? And that's what we're seeing here. Looks so confident. Orbital heel whip, down back one after for Joey. And really looking for that first big advantage here for both players. It is. I love that Jimmy slows down right after, right? He's not willing to go crazy. Side step, gets that 4-4-1. Four, four, Good damage on this. 
Runs up for the Oki. Runs over for the Stomp. Back three. Down forward two. He's in rage. Oh, the down back two. Nice and safe mid to finish it off. Jimmy pulls it back at the last second. We thought, man, the infinite stage might have been a bigger influence than we thought, but he was able to pull it out the last second. If I'm Joey Fury, however, I would want to switch. Hopefully you get something that's a little bit more uh, balanced for him. It's interesting, actually, right? Like, in, in a stage or in a match like this, I don't even know if Jack wants a small stage, right? Like, the uh, no walls, like, I don't know. He might just be okay with that, but I think we got a stage switch going to the arena. Yeah, it's just really hard because if you're going to bank on just playing on the infinite stage, then, you know, it's going to give you a really difficult time. Especially considering that if it happens like that before, you're going to give Jimmy two rounds to make a read on you, how you're going to play on the infinite, and then he only needs one. So just go to infinite stage, keep it nice and simple. Or, uh, sorry, not the gun. Back stage. one, counter hit. Here we go. The wall, the boom. Taunt series. All right, I like it. Waits and then rolls to the side so that he doesn't have to deal with the counter hit on the low soccer. Jimmy with a, a huge lead here. Rage available, but no chance. Round two. Round one to Jimmy. He is Fight. He is looking good here. Same thing we saw in the start of last game, right? Round one, nice and convincing to Jimmy J. Tran. Yeah, and he's going to need this momentum, right? He's going to have to come back six games. So, you know, even this little bit of momentum, it, it could not mean anything in the end because he just has to go so long with this. So Joey Fury has a lot of time to start making reads on his opponent and then making adjustments. Jimmy with the delay, the instant chains of misery is off the back three. That snake dash, he didn't get the cancel there. Punish. Low soccer kick, trying to find that counter hit. Ooh, didn't go for the mock punch, it's pretty far. Yeah, oh, oh, counter. Counter hit, this is gonna hurt. He's gonna go for the big damage. No, just drops the end part of it. He wants to go for Oki. And that low soccer kick, there was more coming two quick rounds again for Jimmy J. It seems like this is always how it goes, right? There's gotta be the adjustment for Joey in the last round. Oh, Orbital. My. Caught him ducking at the last second. All right, wall. Boom, boom. Oh, taunt. Yeah. Flips him off the ground with that mid soccer. No, he was going to stay down. Second hit, counter hit. One, two, man. He's keeping it compact with his jab series. Back two. He's trying to get that wall splat with a safe mid. Jimmy wisely backs up. He's trying to give himself some room. And you see the jackhammers come out. Trying to keep him from moving right. He's not going to get pancaked. Punish God. Oh! Jimmy J. Tran up two quick games. Yeah, you saw Jimmy there going to the jackhammers again. Similar situation that we had in winner's finals. He doesn't want him to step right. However, Jimmy obviously knows in the situation that he's in. He can't really take too many risks by going to the right. Waited for his moment and found it. He's going to go up two games to zero. However, this is still the first set. He's going to need one more and then change afterwards in order to take this tournament. Yeah, two pretty fast games, though, right? Even though the first game went to the last round, that was uh, a bit of a beatdown in that second game. Jimmy kind of formulating. He mentioned it was just a series of little changes that that's all he needed. He felt confident. And uh, you can see it there. Jimmy is one of those guys very rarely gets rattled. I walked up to the stage, and I was like, man, that was a good match. Between you and Glacier, he was like, it was so close. That guy's good. <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy's, Jimmy's been around. He's been playing top players. He's been playing at this level for so long. Oh! This, is, this almost is his comfort zone. I can't believe that down forward two reach. Joey Fury, the magician, making it reach for no reason. Three plus four, no counter hit, so he doesn't get a launch, but he just goes for that taunt into the low soccer. You see that a lot. A lot of people, when they see the taunt, they just kind of freeze up, stand block. Three plus four, regular hit. Yeah, even, in punish. Those, even in those situations when your back's against the wall, the three plus four can give you some valuable room to work with. Low soccer. I like that down back two after safe mid. Jimmy checks him again. Another round on the board. He's won the first round all three games straight. Yeah, he's looking good. A lot of momentum here. Best case scenario for Jimmy is to take this first set three to zero for sure. All right. The slash kick for the pressure again. Three plus four after it. Finish the string. No duck from Joey. He hasn't finished it on block yet, so probably just not ready for it. You got to worry about that balcony behind Brian right now. I like that Joey's dashing in a little deeper to try to stuff these three plus four from downtown. Yeah. But Jimmy's been kind of favoring in the neutral, so it makes sense. 
Orbital heal way oh. down. Didn't get the blue uppercut after. Yeah, and he's still keeping his positioning right, just making sure that his back's not against the balcony. All right, run up patience from Jimmy. He's got a lead. About 10 seconds left on the clock. No rage oh. down. Instant wall rising one. Wall. Not quite the kill, but two seconds left. Rage Oh, arc. that was it! Oh, oh my what? god, he recovered in time. I, I thought that, that was hit, for sure. If that hit, that would have frozen time. Jimmy would have got the round. Instead, we got one round apiece. Yeah, and Joey Fury with the risky button. He wanted to press button and try to stuff him out. The boot to break the balcony. Elbow to drop after, look for the down four too. Wow, he wasn't ready actually for the uh, jet up. Yeah, that was actually a recovery kick uh, blow up right there. If he presses recovery kick, very common in that situation. Down four two is gonna wall bounce jet upper. Oh. oh boy, the mock punch after Jimmy J. Fires back with a round. Fight. That's season two star. Oof. The low soccer miss, and he got the whiff punish. Yeah, no way so ready. Impeccable spacing, right? That's why I think most Jack players usually have that as one of their traits. Yeah, he's done really good on that, but obviously the hatchet kick, such a strong tool in Brian's toolkit. He has to go to it consistently. Second hit gives him some room once again. Oh! Stuffs him out of there. No solicitors. Thank you. Man, I feel like Jimmy's rage drives never hit. They just, are, they always get stuffed. It's like the most tragic rage drive in the world. He actually, yeah, he never hits his rage drive. He largely spends it just for to get plus frames. Maybe to just get out of a situation. Well, but. he caught the plus side of that boot there instead of the frames. Three plus four. Back him up again. So common, right? Such a great move. Counter hit launcher, really far reaching. One of Brian's best keep out tools. Punish again. Jimmy, one round away. He's getting close. Oh. Down two, down for Jimmy J. Tran with a reset. Three games in a row. You expected that maybe Joey was finally starting to make a comeback here, but that was, man, that was a hand to beat down. He had the confidence in that last round to just go for the hatchet kicks. He knew he's on blood right there. You can tell the way that he was playing. He was just dashing at him, no big deal. And the danger here, right? Joey loses three straight. He had that super close set in winners finals. Composure, right? We talked about how he has that iron will, but this is really like a true test of it, right? You're, you're up against elite level player, world-class talent in Jimmy J. Tran, and you really just have to like compose right here, readjust, put a game on the board early in this set before Jimmy runs away with it. Oh my god, the smile from Jimmy while he's playing Tekken? He never keeps the headset on so he can listen to the commentary in the crowd. He's always like that. Steve's over here harassing him. He's like, yo, Jimmy, don't do that 34, bro. Going back to the infinite stage. We talked about that when they were playing on Devil's Pit. The infinite stage, helping out Jack quite a bit because of being able to backdash without worry of his positioning. Yeah, I mean, didn't even help out Joey, though. He still lost that game. Didn't end up mattering too much, I guess. Like, even with the space, Jimmy can play that comeback slow game as well, right? He's pretty good at whatever style he needs to play. Blue uppercut after. Joey missed that earlier, but he got it this time. Ooh. The blue... Oh, boy. I need, like, a tragic tale of all the blue back ones in one compilation. Yeah, they have... Uh not been very good, at least in this set specifically. He has been stuffed out of most of them. Yeah, he, he does like to spend it early, but boy, that was a little rough. Wasn't ready for the tech in the middle of it. Of course, I'll go back to twice, no hit confirm. It's tough to do. It's more like if you see your opponent doing a move, you just confirm it, but that machine gun. Jimmy feeling oh. good on that down forward one series. Try to get the shoulder out there, counter hit. Counter here while standing three. This is gonna be close. Not quite enough. Jimmy goes with the low bucks. Man, he spaced it out so well. Jimmy gets the punish. Yeah, that was a great spacing on that down forward too. Basically, if he did anything, he would have been able to get launched. He probably would have taken it, but Jimmy just blocking and moving at the same time. Very, very aware. Counter hit. Wow, he reached with the jab. Big hips, gets that little soccer kick. Second hit, there's the punish. Yeah, that was super impressive. Recognizing he dropped the combo right then and there and just goes for a reset. That's just just classic Jimmy, Time. so aware. He, Jimmy whip the back three and then tech after. You know, hit a kick button and then tech with the punches. 
Not whilst anyone max distance push back. Still pretty far from downtown. All right, starts to go over. Throw break from Jimmy. It's very rare he misses a throw break when he's not in the middle of something else. Ooh, that might have been a jet upper attempt to punish. Oof. Joey trying to keep the pressure up both characters. Oh, there's the low parry. He's in rage too. This is gonna do more damage. This might be it with the rage art. Yep, and there's not a lot of time on the clock anyway. Joey Fury. Oh! In the lead currently. Round two rounds of one. Yeah, lucky for Joey, he was able to be put into rage right before that low parry happened. Gave him the opportunity to close out the round. And look at, oh, a little bit of whip on oh! counter. Yeah, nice damage on tail into this run up for the Tanoki. Looks for the forward three. Or circle back two. He's mids. Oh, doesn't get the quarter circle back three. Oh, Whoa. the big low. Jimmy ties it up. Two rounds apiece. He is looking really good right now. It's all up to Joey Fury. He has to stop the momentum. Punish. Jimmy looking for that down two, trying to find the counter hit series. Machine gun. Brings it out again. That's hit confirmable. He got it again. Low soccer, the parry. Just ready for it. How does he end this, though? Yes, he goes for the downboard 1-1 okay. again. Ooh, whip on the blue uppercut. Challenge after. Ooh, the whip for Joey. Didn't get punished for it. Orbital heal from downtown. Jimmy. Oh, man, he is getting real frisky with these low soccer kicks. Run up Oki again. The break. Another one, the blue. Nothing out of it. Rage drive available. Gotta watch that blue debug. <gasps> oh, the oh! chains! Chains of misery! Oh! No break. He dashed in his face. Ch instant chains. He wasn't ready for it. I mean, four straight games. That's a classic chain setup, by the way. You just go for the cancel out of that low. He is ducking. He's waiting for something. He stands up again. Boom. That chains of misery. Jimmy, four straight games, man. You could feel that Joey recomposed. He was ready yeah. in this set, right? He loses three straight games. That's a tough position to be in. We're in the reset of this grand finals, right? He's like, okay, I got to recompose. He was looking great. I thought that was his game. Yeah, he was looking really. good. Jimmy makes it, does the job. Yeah, that's the hard stopper right there, right? That's the one that, that really is difficult oh, to come back with. He got clipped by the second hit of the quarter circle back to the break after. Hits the wall again. Oh, boy. God. We're on G Corp, too. This is such a small stage. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, if you guys uh, haven't watched much Tekken before this, what in the? What? That was crazy. Out of the air, the slash game. If you haven't watched much Tekken, everybody's favorite stage theme on this stage. Get the Wub Wub ready. Here we go. The hug, he gets the punish after with the down forward, too. And Jimmy, fishing for that forward three counter hit. Oh. Down forward two. He brings it out. Jerry Fury runs up. Breakable wall back there. Eats the forward, forward one. Trying to go for the orbital three in a row. Uh-oh. Scary position. Back to the wall, but the back one is stuffed. Joey Fury on the board. And finally, Joey Fury has a very solid round here. That's exactly what he needs to come back into this. One, two, one. Trying to delay it a little bit for the counter hit. Joey not biting. He knows better. Back one, such a great mid now. That spacing game all day and oh. a counter hit. Oh, he's gonna take him to the already broken wall though. So, not too scary. Wake up low, Barry, get them off the wall. Very important for Joey Fury to get some room behind him. Run up down forward two as the Oki. Oh, he didn't get oh. the combo, those stubby legs. Missed the blue uppercut, oh! Man, every a single blue back one. Every single one of them. It's it's just not meant to be. Jimmy just doesn't have a rage drive, basically. <laughs> Almost never hits poking at the wall. This is where Jack's so scared, right? When your back's to the wall, he's so good at just harassing you, making you kind of deal with all those folks back to back to back. Trade. Follow up. He just stayed down. Goes to the mid. He's got the blue available. Will it get stuffed? Oh, didn't commit to it, but Joey on the board. He's got a game. 
very clutch moments from Joy Fury in that match. You saw him go for that low parry on Wake Up, and that was one of those things that's so critical, right? It's the difference between having your back against the wall versus a character like Ryan and then being able to play neutral for a little bit. And, and the difference for a character like Jack is night and day. He's a big character. He can't step off the wall. He just has to make hard reads in those situations. Jimmy or Joey made the right one right then and there, finally stopping the bleeding here, taking his first game. That is a pretty trophy, I'll tell you what. That's what they're fighting for here. Final set, we're in a two out of three. Fight. Essentially, now that it's a 1-1 counter hit early. Jimmy J. I hear Tasty Steve talking about the music already. Here we go, Taunt. He hasn't had to deal with that too much back four for the OP. Low parry again. There's so many good lows that Brian leads with all the time, and Joey's calling it out with the low parries now. Yeah, going to those low parries consistently, especially on the non-launch punishable lows, which Brian has a lot of stuff. So low parries giving him some room. The blue debugger and the down back one. Joey Fury's feeling it again. All right. He's looking great here, though. Launch at the beginning. He's picking up on that momentum, and the crowd's feeling it. Shoulder. Half-life on that. Jimmy with the break deep oh right after. Oh! Try to get the cross. Okay, this is a big chance. Dash into the jab. He's gonna get the carry. Miss the tail end. That wild standing three. Not punished, but Joey Fury with two real dominant rounds here as we go upstairs. Finally, the momentum for Joey Fury is showing up, but it's not gonna mean anything until you get three rounds on nice the board. Duck. Jimmy let it fly. He was ready for that quarter circle back to four. It's the wall here, Joey Fury. Half-life gone already for Jimmy. Low soccer. See, man, Joey's been ready for all those lows so far. Get up again. All right, can he dash in deep enough this time? Just goes for the down back two. Thought he was gonna stay on the ground, and Joey with the reads on Oki, he's done a great job. Blue back one. Ah. Uh gonna worry about his own blue stuff as well. The hatchet kick. The second hit got him. Oh, this is so critical. Joey Fury finally found some momentum. And if he gets snuffed out of it right now, it could be a heartbreaker. At 1-2-1 one, one series again. Oh, boy, Jimmy. Oh, the 3 plus 4 regular hit. Taunt fake out back one. He hasn't really seen much of that taunt jet upper so far. Joey's done a good job of mitigating that Oki situation. Yeah, and you see Joy Fury, he's playing a little bit calm right now. He's trying to stay at that range of that three plus four, but man, he's getting cut by so many of them. His back's against the wall right now. See the duck there. Back four against the wall. He's looking for the jet upper. Mock punch. Oh, that hurts so much. No the Oki game. Spring kick, this is scary. You gotta watch. Plants the seeds. You gotta watch that blue. The blue stuff. Joey Fury up two to one in the reset. I, we were all thinking about it in the crowd right here. We're all tense. Couple dash ups in a row. Maybe Jimmy thought, no, not this time. Boom. With the blue stuff. He's going to go up two to one. I cannot, I cannot say how important that game was for Joey Fury. One game, yeah, you feel like, you know, I'm finally feeling a little bit, but getting two in a row like that was so, so important. He's giving himself the best chance for Boston to collect as many points as possible. This is potentially the final game of the tournament. Joey Fury composing the side, you know, Jimmy J. Tran, the tyrant, right? Every time he shows up to an event, a US event in particular, this guy is too hard to beat. But this is uh, Joey's chance here, especially this is right before the finals, right before the TWT finals, trying to get this last chance of Jimmy representing here. Red Bull Conquest, oh. the jet upper, brings it out of his back pocket. It's the wall. Boom, so boom. That three that. plus, or that wall standing three, four at the wall. It's a lot of damage to eat, but Joey, we've seen him in these positions before, right? And I got to see, you know, these low soccer kicks that are getting low parried all the time, these big lows that Jimmy are bringing out. Got to represent those mids. The counter hit on the down forward two, three. Jimmy J. Tran. And he just suckers Joey Fury and going into it. The first hit whiff, he thought, this is my moment to go in and find the hit. Second hit is the three plus four, and then he gets the finish. Backdashing, trying to get out of the way of that forward forward one. Oh, Sidestepped it. No launch, though. On point, you can get a jet upper there, but it's real, real difficult to do. Jimmy, a world-class player, though, so we have these expectations of him. Oh, yeah. As Joey chops away at the legs. 
The only reason we expect orbital. it is because he's shown it to us before. You get the orbital here right there. This is a small station. We're taking him to the wall. Yeah, Brian has excellent wall carry through the body on the other side. Uh-oh, the cross, there it is. Two rounds for Jimmy. He is coming back with an emphatic response. One round away from sending us to a final game here. Looking for the one-two-one -one counter hit the big low. Grabbing that robot shin. The counter hit to the wall. Oh. Man, he is one of the best counter hit players in the game. You gotta worry about him. Doki on the wall. Joy Fury's trying to get some room with the slash kick. Not a chance, the taunt. Jimmy sends us to a final game here, a Red Bull Conquest for Tekken 7. Only someone as cold veined as Jimmy would go three back after someone finally taking the momentum back. It doesn't matter to him. Of course we're going to the final round. Tekken 7 is a rigged game. You heard it here first. I saw them right in the script backstage. It always goes to the final game. Red Bull Conquest here, obviously a big one for the regions as well. Final match between these two, two of the best players in Tekken 7 in this country and also in the world they're gonna be playing at the TWT Finals for a reason. Ryan versus Jack 7. All right, let me know in the chat, guys. Let me see if you guys want Jimmy Che Tran to win. Hit me with the Vietnam if you want him to win. Let me see a resident sleeper for Jack. Let me know who you guys want to see at final game of this Tekken 7 tournament. The low soccer kick early for Jimmy J. Tran. Oh, He's the counter hit confirmed. Him. Now one, two, one again. Jimmy, so good about not only finding the counter hits, but hit confirming them as well. Yeah, and he's really trying to keep the pressure up here. It's not going to let Joey have any momentum. And that's the name of the game. No punish on the Northern Cross. And then he gets the counter hit. Balcony's back there. Misses the end of the combo. Doesn't get the wall standing one. No punish from Jimmy. One, four. Jimmy J. Tran round on the board. Looking good once again. Joey needs to make the adjustments right here. There's no more time. The last chance for low parry. He's gonna hit the wall here. Jimmy J. Tran, does he read that he's gonna stay down or commit to the taunt? Boom, boom. Damn. He rolls out of there, three plus four to try to chase. Yeah, and he switches the situation. Joey Fury now trying to put his back against the wall. I love this compact play from Jimmy. The jab into the down back three. Keep it nice and tight. The blue upper on the orbital. There you go. This positioning, very good for Joey Fury right here. He's able to make the comeback if he fights oh, the hit. the snake but... dash gets the wall rising one on the whip punish. The wall's there in the way, the taunt. Low Fury! Oh, what in the last chance, but the toe tap on the robot shins. Tournament point for Jimmy J. Tran. Jimmy is just looking impossibly dominant right now, but Joey Fury has something to say about it. The wall standing one takes him to the wall. The instant wall rising one shoulder. Puts that down back one, core circle back two from Jimmy, no hit confirmed. Back one, tries to find the frame trap after. Joey, what has he got left in the tank here? He's down so much, harassing him at the wall. Punished, no, didn't get it. Orbital heal block. Jimmy with rage, two in a row, three in a row. The blue. Doesn't find the counter hit after four oh of them. My. Jimmy J. Tran on the verge, but oh. the blue stuff. He finally says no. The blue stuff come out to save him at the last second. Joey is still alive. Down forward two on the low soccer kick. He's sick of it. Gonna hit the wall in the corner. The shoulder. And toe tap again, booted. Goes to the seed plan, gets the trade. Three plus four stuff. Joey Fury, he's bringing it back to float. Not quite enough, we're going to a final, final round. It can only happen like this with these two players, the best the US has to offer. Mo Soccer, the counter hit, Jimmy J. Tran. Early start, wall, oh, no. boom, boom, boom. Bad situation to be oh, in. He got up, low soccer kick, low parry. The last chance Side for Joey Fury. Up. Joey Fury's got rage, he got him! Jimmy J. Tran is your Red Bull Conquest Tekken 7 champion. Jimmy J. Tran coming back six games on Joey Fury after losing to him in winner's finals. Had to play five games against Glacier Gating. He took the long route to this position, but Oakland is going to be your Tekken 7 Red Bull Conquest champion.
representing that Oakland region as we talked about. He is actually the runner up for Oakland as Bronson Tran couldn't made it. He sent his vassal Jimmy J Tran in his steed and he did an excellent job. Congratulations to Jimmy J. Nice work to Joey Fury, of course. Second place here, incredible stuff. And don't forget we had that online player at Glaciating representing, he got third place. What an incredible Tekken Top 8 that we had this weekend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it at home. A lot of you guys, this might be your first time ever watching Tekken 7. There's a lot of you guys in the chat. Definitely check it out, get the game. You can find it nice and cheap, actually. It's a great game, a lot of fun. The tournaments are always good. Make sure to check out the World Finals coming next month. What a set we had between these two. This was a fantastic set between them. And especially, you saw the resolve from Joey Fury. Yes, he fell down in the end, but he took so much guts to come back and start taking games when you go lose four straight against a guy like Jimmy J. Tran. That guy can make you feel like every decision is the wrong one. So yeah. really, a lot of resolution, a lot of guts from that guy. Second place for no reason. We're going to see him over in Amsterdam not too long from now. Yeah, I mean, that's a reason, right? Both of these guys, as we said, uh, two of the strongest players in the U.S., but they're qualified for the finals as well. So this is a big chance for them to come up, represent their region here at Conquest. That's one of the coolest parts about this uh, series is that we have Conquest here where everybody's competing to try to represent in their region, show why they're the best in the country. This is excellent practice for both of them for the finals and a good chance for them to just, you know, throw down and have some good-ass tech. In oh, yeah. Definitely, and that's what we got today. We got it all throughout the top lane. We got it all throughout the weekend from all the competitors representing their regions. It was great, top to bottom. Honestly, I couldn't have won. I couldn't have hoped for a better one. This was fantastic, top to bottom. Yeah, I mean, one of the best sets of Tekken 7 that I've seen in a while. This is a good one, Jimmy versus Joey. Congratulations, of course, to Jimmy for clutching it out in the end, like he always seems to do. Uh, you know, incredible performance to him. I can't wait to see both of them competing in the finals in Amsterdam. I can't wait to see the point, uh, point situation after this. We're going to take a peek at it in a little bit in case you guys are curious, but damn, that was some good ass tech. And if you guys aren't on this game, this game is a ton of fun. It's super great to watch at every single event. Uh, try it out yourself. You'll probably love it if you do. It is so good. Man. It's yeah. such an excellent game. And we had such a dope set between these two players. You know, you couldn't ask for a better set of Tekken, right? It's, it's yeah. so easy to talk about it when the games are that good. Yeah, makes I our mean, job I... easy, makes the viewers at home have a good time. What a dope tournament. I can tell you straight up, as someone who is learning Tekken 7 as we go along, as a guy who is a Tekken 7 baby, right. this game really just gives you uh, 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 gives you the love that you put back into it. And uh, you can tell from the guys that are on the stage, these guys put their heart and soul into this game. And that's why you see them in the top spot right here. You see how Jimmy J. Tran got to winner's finals. He had to face Joey Fury twice in order to take it. 13 games versus this guy in one tournament against one of the best in the U.S. Yeah. That is no small feat, but he was able to take the tournament in the end. Yeah.